another how-to video and this one we're going to show you how to create a header using the uh, graph pack collection that I have available at uh, grabgreattraffic.com if you've already got a uh, graphics package then the same principles will apply but if you don't you might swing by and sign up for the newsletter and on the confirmation page you get uh, links to a site that gives you 20 bucks off so you get the whole package for like twenty seven dollars and uh, you're looking at icons and and uh, images and and whatever but at any rate uh, one of the neat things about uh, the graph pack is the catalog so we're gonna go in there and we're gonna show you how fast you can run through these images and they're fair they're half size so you can pretty well get an idea of detail and stuff so here's a catalog and we'll go th look at 1 through 26 and you can see that uh, you can see pretty much all the detail of them and it just takes you a minute just to run through 26 headers we'll close this and go to the next one uh, that's 26 more headers so you can locate whatever header you need in short order and we're going to probably go for we're going to go for 60 and we're going to put these people with the money uh, on this beach we'll probably eliminate the babe but then we'll put them on the beach so uh, this tells us that we need to go to our uh, graph pack headers folder and pick out uh, the PSD folder uh, file excuse me for uh, 60 and uh, 62 so uh, we're going to head over there and pull those up with the GIMP okay we're in the GIMP now and we've opened up our graph pack headers uh, folder main folder uh, so we need 60 and 62 so let's open up 6 and looks like we're gonna have to go to 7 and here we've got uh, nope Okay, 60 and 62. So let's open up the PSD files. Double click that. And control O again, and we'll open up 62, the PSD file. And that's going to be up here. Now, this is going to be our main uh, image. So we're going to save this, and we'll save it as an XCF, which is uh, GIMP's proprietary uh, format for layers. And uh, if, if we save it as something else, then when we alter it, uh, we're going to leave the original in its uh, original condition. The same with this. If we don't save this when we take stuff out, it'll be in its original condition. And that's, of course, what we want. So let's go ahead and go up here and save this and save this in our current f project folder and we'll call it um, SEO Crusher because that's the mythical uh, uh, program that we're going to be selling so we'll type that in and we want to save it in the proprietary format. Anything that you're going to uh, have to go back and alter, you'll want to save it in the XCF. And then uh, if you need to go back and change anything, it makes it real easy. So we'll go down here, uh, scroll up, excuse me, XCF is right here. Activate that. You'll see up here seocrusher.xcf. And so this saves all the layers. So we'll save it. and you'll see up here it's saved as seocrusher.xcf so we won't be altering the original uh, PSD file okay let's go through we have this activated let's go through and eliminate the babes here so we just hit the eye here and see okay that's those and so hit the layer and go ahead and trash it and on this one we'll hit the eye first to see if okay so and the layer is activated let's hit the trash and get rid of it and that takes care of that lady 
and we'll hit the trash. Okay, now we're going to activate this one and we have to find out which one uh, the people are. So let's see here. Okay, that's this one. So we can take and uh, activate the layer and control C for copy. We'll go over here to edit and this is important. You need to paste in as a new layer. So paste it in as a new layer and here's something else that's very important. When GIMP closes it defaults to when you use the move tool it defaults to pick a layer or guide and then when you use this you're going to be changing the background so you want to always be sure that move the active layer uh, is activated so now we can go up here and also once you've uh, activated the layer with the move tool you can then move it around with the arrow keys as I'm doing right now for a little fine adjustment anyway let's put these people here let's go back to this one and see which one the money is and that's this one so let's open it let's see here let's open it up and control C for copy and then we're going to paste it in as a new layer and we've already have our move tool radio button on the right one move this over to the corner and it is in front of these people if it wasn't we can move this layer back if we'd like uh, all we need to do is hit the arrow here let's see we need And that, now you can see it's behind the people. So we want to move it the other direction. We want it in front of them. And there we go. We've hit the other arrow. And now it's in front. So now uh, we're ready to go with our lettering. And for the sake of this video, I have uh, already done the lettering for it in, in uh, three different styles to add depth to your text. Uh, so let me bring that up and show you what that looks like. Let's uh, control O for open and we want to go to actually this would be fine right here and we want to go to current project and we have X SEO crusher let's see we want I think um, header text is what we have that saved under so we'll double click that and this is what uh, what it will look like. Uh, I have a video on uh, shadows, uh, GIMP shadows, and that will show you how to add depth with uh, two different layers, uh, how to grow a layer behind for a little depth, and then of course this one here is a drop shadow. So uh, that concludes this video, and uh, hope to see you in another one.